more, more, mass, 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 go, go, go. For those of you that saw the video when I was in Peru and she was having me eat all these weird dishes, I proved. <laughs> Very good. Well, today it's my revenge. She's going to be trying lots of British food, snacks, and various other things. Are you ready? No. Okay, let's go. Okay, British chicharrones. We don't just fry the skin, but the fat and the meat as well. Check it out. Jay's pork scratchings. Look at this. And uh, here we have a local Peruvian We're trying them for the first time. And they're salted, I forgot about that, they're always salted. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're hard. Uh, I bite my tongue. Oh, you bite your tongue, okay. Well, what do you think of the ch Yeah, good? Yeah. Yeah? What out of 10? I like it. 10. 10 out of 10? Is it better than a Peruvian chicharron? No, I'm gonna stay Peruvian. It's just the same. But they have the meat on too. No, I don't feel it. Okay, you don't feel the meat. Okay, well you heard it here first. Approved. So today we have a Peruvian girl right here. And she's gonna have her first carvery. A British carvery, a nice roast dinner. Let's uh, see what happens. So now we have our meat, we have our Yorkshire, which is like a bread here. We can uh, put on whatever you want, as much as you want. They have uh, cauliflower cheese, look. We can get carrots. Uh, stuffing. Oh, and that's yours. Very greedy. Tastes like the white. So the stuffing we put inside the turkey, or pretty much any animal when we cook it. It's getting bigger now. Let me get some uh, peas. Now we need to we need to start moving outwards. Now the the best part is the roast potatoes. These are the best ones. Okay, what do you think of that? That's not bad, is it? Yeah, you have work to do. Now we're putting the gravy on. It's uh, like beef sauce. You just dump that on everything. Everything. And you can get uh, mustard, mint sauce. This is the best. Usually you have it with lamb, but uh, you can put it with anything. This looks like bread sauce and um, Cranberry sauce. I'm not even sure what. Oh, that's mayonnaise and uh, ketchup. That's weird. <laughs> it's called a Yorkshire pudding. It's like a bread, flour based, kind of roasted. Butter. Some batter, yes. Like a pancake without the sugar, but then in the oven. It smells like eggs. Yeah. Yeah, try. Egg flour and milk. Egg flour and milk. Yorkshire pudding test. What do you think? I just taste no. the egg. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of the carvery? About the food? Yes, out of ten. Ten. Ten? Approved? Wow, it's a ten out of ten approved. But you're severely lacking gravy. You need more gravy. No. It's too American, that one. There's not enough gravy. There's mine. Do you remember that earlier? Oof, look at that now, champion. <laughs> yeah, because I said all your vegetables. Shh. No, I ate two of your potatoes, fair and square. No. Okay. Well. Okay, we are outside Home Bargains, and what do we have here today? We have a, a British extraterrestrial extraterrestrial chip, pickled onion flavor. Let's have a look at one. She's never tried pickled onion. And we love pickled onion in the UK. <gasps> Look at this. Okay. 
No smelling, no smelling. <laughs> Vinegar and onion flavoured chips. What do you think? Tastes like jelly. Tastes like jelly? <laughs> eat, eat more. They have a bite to them. What do you think? I can taste the vinegar. Taste all the vinegar. Just tastes like vinegar. Mm -hmm. Good or bad? Out of ten. Mm, it's new. Nuevo, sí. Sí, está rico. Carico. Está rico. Está rico. Está rico. Oh, está rico. Está rico, sí. Okay. So what out of ten? Aprobado. Six out of ten? Seven? Oh. Eight? Two? Four? Mm, seis. Six out of ten. Six out of ten? Pickled onion space raiders. Sí, solo porque es extraterrestre. Y no me gusta el extraterrestre. Okay. I heard it here first. Six out of ten. Okay, licorice. <laughs> if you're not sure what licorice is, or well, it's from the licorice plant, I guess. There you go, there's some history on licorice, look. 1903. And there is one right here, conveniently, on my knee. And uh, here is a Peruvian that has never tried it before. Okay. <laughs> Chocolate? No. No, chew, chew it a bit. You get the sweetness first and then you'll get a little crisp. <laughs> a bit like a sweet. It's not gomita. What's that? Gomita. Yeah, yeah, gummy, yeah. But what, what about the flavour? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 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 you look like a dog chewing a wasp. <laughs> so what do you think? I can No sé qué sabor es. Oh, you don't know the flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what what do you think of the flavor even though you don't know it? Like is it good? Out of 10. Weird. That's weird. Four out of ten? Three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two. <laughs> so no good, no, no bueno. It's not it's not that it's, it's weird. It's just weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. More for me. Okay, and now we have a flapjack. See, a flapjack in America is pancakes and syrup and whatnot, but here, very different. Look at that. It's a bar made with oats, but this one has uh, white chocolate, almond, and cherry on it. Okay, what do you think? It's very nice. Yep. Huele rico. Quiero probar? Bite. Ooh. You good? Ah, it's approved. It's approved. I don't taste like cherry. Cherry, yeah, yeah. Mm. This one does, but some are blueberry, some could be... Okay. Yeah, yeah, all different things. Tastes but good? Like it. I like it. Hey, out of but ten? A lot of sugar here. Well, we'll get a, a plain one next time. Uh, yeah. Maybe I, I can buy just one or two more, but then... Oh, 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 what out of 10? Um, I think um, 8 because it's tasty, but not 10 because uh has a lot of sugar. I will find one without the without the chocolate and stuff then. Maybe. Then we can reassess. Yeah, because I'm not fan of the sugar like, like this. She's not a fan of the sugar like this. Right, Mr. Brains, pork faggots. <laughs> you will only know what these are if you live in the UK. 
But uh, yeah, bit of a, an, an interesting one. Here's the ingredients if you want to pause and take a look. But uh, it's basically blended up organs in the shape of uh, meatballs. Let's uh, see the taste test. All right, yes. try, trying the faggot. What means in Spanish? A faggot, it has no translation. What? In America it's offensive, but uh, here it, it just yes. means a meatball. In Spanish, esto es hígado, mezclado con mollejita. O sea, todas las menudencias están aquí. Okay. Sabe a pate. It tastes like pate. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. Out of ten? Pan. Pan? Yeah, I need my pan for this, my bread. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about pate without the bread? What out of ten? Mm, don't know. Seven? Seven out of ten. Approved? Yeah. Half approved, like yeah, this. Because I'm hungry. It's more than average, way more. Than Just before. because I'm hungry. Oh, okay. <laughs> 7 out of 10 for the faggots. Bombay mix. The treat of India. Fresh from Bombay. Okay, here we go. Bit of everything on there. Chickpea, peanut, and some of the sticks. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think of uh, Indian snacks? We're pretty much UK snacks these days. I'm trying. You taste all the spices. Here we go, look. Tastes like... I don't know. Or species? Spices. Spices? Yeah. But not like a snacker. I think I'm... Savory. I'm eating... A meal. A dinner. No. Curry? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same spices. Out of ten? Three, this big bag. <laughs> Is this mine then? <laughs> three out of ten. Because yeah. it's just ten when, it's, really when it's, it's very tasty. The if I love it, it's ten. The Indian people aren't going to like you. Me vale. Me vale. <laughs> okay, a bit of redemption after the Bombay mix. This is our version of a Cheeto. What's it? And they're giant ones. Look at that. Okay. That's redemption. Yeah, same thing. Same. What's it? Yes. Chisito. Chisito. That's our Cheeto. Ten. Ten. Approved? Approved. It's okay. Like Cheetos? Yeah. Or the extra cheese? Extra cheesy, yeah. Mm. Mm. Better than Cheetos. Definitely. Oh, wow. What's it? <laughs> you pulled through. <laughs> okay, now we're tasting the national drink of Scotland. This is like the Inca Cola of Scotland. Iron Brew. This is a sugar free, but uh, maybe I think we can get the same effect. Okay. Es la gaseosa de la película del corazón valiente. Gaseosa. 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 So it tastes like metal. Like iron. No, I'm joking. Try, see what you think. Huele en cacola. No. No. Huele en cacola. Oh, try. I'm not impressed. <laughs> and then what, what are you saying? 
Drink more, that's like the hamster sip. Okay, there we go. Saben Coca-Cola sin gas. In Coca-Cola. Without the gas. That has gas. Yeah, but it tastes like, you know. You think it tastes like Inca Cola? Without the gas. Yeah. Without the, even though it has gas in. Yeah, but it's because every time you, you you leave the Inca Cola, you know, without this. Yeah. The, the taste change. Oh, okay. So, what do you think? Approved? Yeah. Yeah. Out of ten. Um. Mm, don't know. Maybe eight. Eight out of ten. Do you want to try it with the gas? With the gas. No oh, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have frazzles. Well these aren't frazzles, these are kind of co-op's own take on frazzles, but it's pretty much the same thing. Tocino or bacon rashers. Check it out. The little bits of bacon. See these are pretty much only in the UK, you don't see these in America. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, to see no. Okay, yeah, out of ten. It smells and tastes like to see no. Yeah, bacon. yeah, bacon. I out feel, of ten. I feel I'm, I'm, I'm eating bacon. Yeah, but you're not. You're eating a, a maize flavored rice flour snack. Yeah, out of ten. Ten. Approved. Ten. Better than the what sits or not? What? Are they better than the what sits? The sticks like Yeah. No. No. The other ones are better. Okay, but they're three times cheaper. <laughs> okay, cheesy rolls. Otherwise known as uh baps, cobs, rolls. What else? Did I say cob? I don't know. Many names. Cheesy roll. Yeah, what she said. What she said. Cheesy roll. Cheesy roll. Diddly do. Diddly do. Cheesy roll. Cheesy roll. Cheesy roll. Good? No? Yeah? Out of ten? Mm -hmm. Because it's bread. Mm, maybe nine. Nine. Approved? Cheesy roll approved. Wow. It's not like the cheesy bread from Colombia. It's not like that. No. Not the same flavor. It's not the same, no. But it's cheesy. It's definitely a cheesy roll. Yeah. Okay, approved. This is sweet and sour chicken. Let's try. Chicken, peppers, maybe an onion if you're lucky. This is Aldi's own 69p special. So we are. Um, Tipakai. Tastes like tipakai. Yeah, I found one that tasted similar. Out of ten? Seven? Eight? Nine? Eight. English curry. The difference is it's a little sweeter. There's some raisins. But otherwise it's a curry. It's a Aldi's... Uh, 69p range. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get three pieces of chicken in there, so uh, that'll be a, that'll be a third of the portion. <laughs> there goes my chicken. <laughs> Mmm. 
Okay, what do you think? Tastes like a hina de gina. A hina de gina? No, it doesn't. Okay, what what out of ten? Same. Oh, high praise. All right then. Thank you, Audi. Leon Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Bags of flavour. Pull them up. Uh oh. I think it's made with anchovies, you know, the original sauce. How's lemon? Lemon? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe some sort of acid, yeah. Definitely anchovies in the original recipe. It's good, but it's not my favorite, you know? No? Like five out of ten? Um, maybe six. Six. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, uh, redemption. What about this coronation chicken? It is like a curried chicken with raisins. <laughs> I'm joking. Curry chicken with raisins. Is it redemption? Or is it Worcester sauce time? I think I'm eating ají de gallina. 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 So how much? Um, ají de gallina is not my favorite. Oh, so. six out of ten. Mm, six. No redemption was made. <laughs> oh well, more for me. Mm. Mm. She thought it was one sandwich. <laughs> Unfazed. <laughs> But in Lima, there's three bread, so you have to eat it all in one go. We'll have four too. No, I saw three. I saw three at Tambo. Mm, we'll have four in, in different shops. Then there's two. No. It's a very interesting way. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Two sandwiches. This tastes better too. Okay. You heard it here first. It tastes better. Okay, so she's trying some uh, British, not French, chocolate. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. Sounds British even, doesn't it? Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, <laughs> That's the Spanish version. Wait. <laughs> okay, that's just... Watch you staring at the chocolate. It's like this. Oh yeah, the pinky. <laughs> Do you want a glass of wine with it and some cheese? <laughs> Did you get the middle? Yeah, I think. You need to try the middle. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> The surprise middle. <laughs> truffle, I think, like a chocolate truffle. Oh, wait, you mean the nut? I think a hazelnut, yeah. What? Yeah, hazelnut. Mm. It's in the muesli. Rico. Yeah. I think they're a little bit out of date, mm. but only a couple of months. What do you think? It's good. Good, yeah. Out I don't of ten. Like the chocolate, but. Out of ten? It's not too sweet. No, so it's, it's good for me because I don't like the chocolate. Mm. Is it better than the Reese's buttercup on the armrest? Oh no. Oh, okay. But these are a lot more expensive. Fifteen solas for four. It's not about the money. <laughs> so seven out of ten? Six? Mm. Eight out of ten. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's good. Ferrero Rocher. But it's not my favorite. Oh, okay. This is my favorite. <laughs> no, my favorite is um, a chocolate in Peru. The name is Vicio. It's my favorite chocolate. Okay. It's quite lucky that your favorite chocolate ever is from the same country as you. What? 
<laughs> okay, Ferrero Rocher, 8 out of 10. Okay. Today we're trying... Quaver's Prawn Cocktail. But not necessarily... But not necessarily the Quaver's, but the Prawn Cocktail flavour. If you're not familiar with the prawn, it's a shrimp. It's just a British way of saying a shrimp. But yeah, more importantly, the flavour, not the crisp. But she's being so uh, so um, Latin America, she's eating uh, churro cereal. Unbelievable. Try the prawn cocktail. It's a fishy. Everybody likes these in the UK. Well, most people. Not many people dislike it. You don't like it. No. I don't know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, what out of ten? Flavor is different, you know? Yeah, it's definitely different. Which flavor is it? Prawn cocktail. Shrimp. Fish. Maybe I'm wrong. Now think in the fish. Ceviche flavored chips. Ceviche flavor with a bit yeah, of lime. I can feel the lime. Okay. In my mouth. Okay, ceviche. So what do you think? Out of ten. It's good, I think. Mm, don't know. Maybe it's seven. Seven. Okay, approved. Mm, yeah, I think so. Many approve. Okay. Well, that was a hard sell. Yeah. The problem is. I'm trying to be fit. <laughs> you make me eat this all the time, so unbelievable. I'm sorry you're suffering so much here, eating so many things. I apologize from me and also my people. You're welcome, and my ancestors before them, all the way to the Vikings. We offer you a group apology. Do you accept? <laughs> no, you're munching. Well, oh, seven out of ten. No, these must be mine now. You can enjoy your churros. Yeah. Okay. Tasting. Okay, she likes the churro cereal. 10 out of 10? Ten. Okay, 10 out of 10 on the churro cereal. Do you cereal. know why? Because they have cinnamon. Cinnamon. Ah, okay. I love the cinnamon. You'd like it in America then. They do love the cinnamon. cinnamon there? We don't really do the cinnamon. In America, they do the cinnamon a lot. Every state loves the cinnamon. We don't really care. Sorry. We not we like a little bit of cinnamon and a bit of nutmeg on some rice pudding. I'm cinnamon lover. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, cinnamon lover. Okay. She's just bought a whole cake for thirty-five p. It's true. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. No introduction. Look, thirty-five p. It was three fifty. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. I just uh, wow. You've quiet today for the first time. Mm. You're quiet for the first time today. Wait. What? It tastes like a plant. It tastes like a plant. Yeah, it was made with plants, right? It's wheat. Oh. Okay. Approved? No? Okay. Well, I'm glad we bought the whole cake since you don't like it. Oh, but you're eating it? Okay. <laughs> That's how it works, apparently. Okay, now we are eating fish. Check how big the fish is. A big fishy fish and fish and chips and that's the small chips all of that both of them and uh, you're gonna try it today are you excited yeah okay yeah she's gone quiet that means uh, it's a uh, serious business <laughs> hungry there are the chips they're kind of like steak fries look fish and chips okay you have to try this is chip shop fish and chips yeah. look you can see there's a haddock, big haddock, big white fish. White fish. With uh, salt and vinegar, the secret ingredient. Always salt and vinegar. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, you're doing a combo. Silencio. It's tasty, but... But, 
I think it needs a little pepper. Get some pepper. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying. Oh, in the in the batter. I'm trying everything, you know. Pepper. Oh, that's interesting. Like, do you remember I made the fish yesterday? Yeah. Two days. Ah, pepper. Yeah. So you don't want the pepper on anything else but the fish. Because when I put pepper on everything, you say, what? What? Pepper? No, yeah, you you never use pepper like this. You, you use the, the whole thing, you know? <laughs> so out of ten? Ten. Ten, yeah? Oh, wow. High praise. Yeah. So that means it's automatically approved. Mm, yeah. Okay. It's crunchy, you know? No. This. <laughs> no pasa nada aquí, okay. <laughs> Crunchy. Campers fruit and nut. What do you think? Ten? Yeah? No, that one. What? <laughs> you already ate your whole. I just want to see the wrapper. Unbelievable. You let somebody try it and they take everything. <laughs> wow, it must be good. You took everything. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's called dairy milk fruit and nut now. With almonds. Very good. And it's different from the American one. That doesn't taste very good, even though it says camper is still. You can eat all that. Okay. One Definitely one. not. One okay, we're in bed today. It's a, it's a day off today. And we have a Turkish delight. So, uh, Turkish people would roll in their graves at this concoction because it has chocolate on the outside. But uh, I don't know, I like it with a bit of chocolate. Let's have a look then. So it, it weighs quite heavy, these things, like the weight of a small child. Look at that. Look, it's a little rectangle. But inside, well, you're about to find out. <laughs> you got a bite, 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 bite. Yeah, there's the confusion. There, yeah, look. It's almost like gelatin. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It tastes like perfume. No. Mm. It's weird. I want to know what, what is inside. Yeah, no secret recipe. I like the, I like the, 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 the flavor, but... Yeah? I mean, it's nothing bad with the chocolate. It's just... What is that inside? Nah, it's like it's like gelatin. Yeah, but it feels weird in my tongue. You know? Yes, it does. What do you think out of ten? Mm, eight. Eight? Yeah, because I don't know what is inside, but I okay. like it. approved. Because it's not too sweet, you know. Okay, now we have a crunchy. This is honeycomb. Honeycomb crunch wrapped in uh, Cadbury's chocolate. It looks on the outside like uh, any other chocolate bar. Look, look at that. Look. Looks like a Mars bar, maybe a Snickers. It's like, you know, like, um, I think. Could be a Snickers. Looks like yeah. a Peruvian chocolate we have. Yeah. Could be, could be. Well, why don't you try? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. Wait, wait. There it is. Honeycomb crunch. What do you think? They have those at fairgrounds, carnivals, in big bags. Not like crunchy branded, but uh, the same kind of thing. Honeycomb crunch, with and without Inside chocolate. Inside this is honey. It, it's like kind of sugar, really, but um. But what is in? What is this? We call it honeycomb crunch, but I think it's where you kind of heat up the sugar and it gets kind of 
caramelized and maybe there's something else in there, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, out of ten? Um, maybe seven. Oh, these Peruvians are hard to please. No, it's because I'm a special. I don't like the things very sweet. I see, okay. I'll get you a zero sugar crunchy next that makes time. Me feel nauseous in that one. Ok, yo voy a probar mi salsita que acabo de hacer, es una salsa hecha con cebollita, un poquito de frijoles aplastaditos, un poco de cilantro y un, eh, un ingrediente especial. Ok, let's try. Okay. Para sausage. Try. Good. Yeah, you like it. Oh, I can't do it. How you doing? Oh, I caramba. I caramba. Okay, we're gonna try a stick of rock. We are in. We're in Barmouth. Look, we just bought a stick of rock. Traditional seaside uh, sweets, candy. You have to bite. Banana split. Good? Chew. Huh? Bite it. No, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty much just a sugar log look. See? <laughs> okay, Taurus. Forget Taurus. Pear cider. An alcoholic beverage made with pears. Fermenting the pear. Critique of the year. Okay, what do you think, Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> I can feel the vinegar. I can feel the vinegar in my mouth. Come on, Gordon Ramsay. What do you think? It's good. Yeah. Mm. Approved. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Out of ten. Not the drink I like because I like the smart enough, but it's tasty. Eight hey, out of ten. And has fruit, so I think six. Ooh, six! Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm making some custard because today we're gonna try sticky toffee pudding with custard. Custard is like gravy for dessert. If you've never heard of it before, well, there's the ingredients. Uh, look, check it out. Okay, so we're just boiling it up now. And uh, somebody is going to try it for the first time. <laughs> mm. Dee, dee, dee. What's your problem? Dee, dee, dee. It's ready. Okay, here we go. So it's a sponge pudding with a, a sticky toffee syrup drizzle uh, with custard. English custard. Hola, caramelo. Yep. Um, put it in your mouth there. Uh, it's okay. Mm. 
Very cool. Yeah? You like? What? It's approved? Yeah. Approved. Approved. Bueno. <laughs> I think that one is a ten. Yeah. Okay, Gooseberry, let's go. Oh no. Why no nothing? <laughs> hey, go. Yeah, the whole yeah, two. And da da. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Sour. Yeah. A lot of people make like dessert with them, like gooseberry. You could make a pie or. No, I mean. Uh, the inside is good. Yeah? The outside of this, the peel? Yeah. Is the sou it's sour. The sour, yeah. Yeah, let's look inside for anyone that has never what? seen it's one. Funny because Tastes like, we call that, yeah. ciruela. Tastes like ciruela. Ciruela? Ciruela. Could be the same thing. Yes, this is a traditional UK drink. Dandelion and burdock. You know the yellow flower, the dandelion, and the burdock leaf, I think? Yeah, try You won't find it anywhere else. What do you think? I don't know. No sé cómo. I don't know how to describe the flavor. No. But do you like it? Yeah. It's good? Yeah, but... It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> we just left the supermarket and um, somebody can't uh, wait a few moments. We've got the Jaffa cakes. What? <laughs> 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 Unbelievable. No. I found a, a favourite look in, in the Jaffa cake. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen her so happy in a food tasting uh, segment? I don't think so. Yeah. What a... Look at this. Yeah, look, there's the Jaffa. You your orange jelly, your sponge, and then your chocolate on top. And then you throw this. Mm, give me one of those. Wait, I cut oops. I can't get one. I've never seen anyone eat a Jaffa cake like that. Oh, thank you. Look, this is a jelly. Eat a jelly. Eat a jelly. Gelatina. Gelatina. But now that one's going to taste uh, really weak. I don't care. We had a commercial on TV with these um, biscuits. Let me show you how I went. It was like full moon. Oh, wait. It was like full moon. Half moon. Total eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> we have another, uh, well there was two but now there's one. Boudin, the food of the Peru. This is um, Peruvians, they don't breathe oxygen, they breathe boudin. <laughs> so uh, obviously we needed some here, otherwise our local Peruvian would die. And there she is, there's the chef. El, El Maestro. Um, El uh, Peruana. Cuisine um, maestro, see. Okay, salud. Bellissimo. <laughs> okay, today we have peppered mackerel. Look at that. 
It's a fish with pepper on it. Okay. Here we go. Uh-oh. Um, people eat them for breakfast. Maybe not so much anymore, but um, I don't know, I do. It repeats on you though, especially if you go running. Okay. Okay, here we go. The fishy. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like pepperoni. Yeah, yeah, like fish jerky, yeah. Kinda, yeah. I don't feel fishy taste. No? It smells fishy. No. No? No for me. Oh, well, okay. Well, you are the pescado maestro. Look at that. Good? Yeah? Good. You like? Hey, approved in the mackerel. Peruvian girl makes traditional uh, bread using traditional equipment. Okay, I accidentally deleted the eating of the Frey Bantos pie. Uh, what did you think of it? Uh, I mean, I like the liver. We, we like the liver in Peru. But that was a mix of liver, kidney. Steak and kidney. Okay, yeah. lots of things that for me is weird. I think the pastry too was weird, so... What out of ten? Uh, well... Not too much, to be honest. I'm sorry, people, not too much. Very bent rumbled. Okay, so for whatever reason, all the shops are selling Christmas things now. <laughs> even though it's September. And here we have a mince pie here. So what, what we do in the UK is um, the, the kids would go to bed on Christmas Eve and you would leave a mince pie and some sherry, which is like a strong alcoholic dessert wine. And a carrot for the reindeer. And a carrot for the reindeer, yes. And then in the morning you would just see crumbs, which means Santa has been and given your presents. An empty glass of wine, and that's how you know your, your presents are here and he's left. You can try uh, the mince pie. It's meat inside. Uh, no, no, it's, it is not... It's minced meat, but it's just kind of fat from the cow, but nothing you can taste. It's just currants and fruit in a pastry. Or what do you think? It's hot. <laughs> uh, I told you, you should use this for your crumbs. Uh, what do you think of the mince? You like it, yeah? And then one for mom, it's okay. Yeah? Super sweet. It's really sweet. Yeah. In uh, in America, um, 
it's really hard to find these. You have to find them in a special store, but it's mostly a, a British thing. You like it? Hey. Yeah, I put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. <laughs> but everything in there, because there's sugar, it heats up and then you, you burn your mouth. Okay, Santa approved. Old um, Santa's had a hard day today. Good old sherry. Okay, uh, Gator Aid Soda, otherwise known as Lucas Aid. Here you go. Tell me what you think. Fizzy Gator Aid. It's in the Olympics in the night. Is <laughs> unbelievable. Some people. <laughs> okay, potato waffles. The waffly versatile. What do you think? It's hot. Mm. Are we good? Mm. It's a traditional British recipe from Bird's Eye. Yeah, it's great. Hey. Mm. It tastes like fries without salt. Yeah. That's it. Okay, the fisherman's friends. Do you want to try? Yes, you do. Put that little pour out there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so the fisherman, he hangs out with all the uh, fishies. And sometimes he needs to find a woman, so he's got to smell nice with fresh breath. So what do you think? Tastes like holes. Holes. Yeah. People have these when they have a sore throat. Like they're sick or something. I got them from the pharmacy, actually, the chemist. They have a licorice in here. And... Uh, it's pretty much just licorice and sugar. <laughs> what do you think? Good? Yeah, there's like the pills for... The throat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're sick. Exactly, yeah. But some people are having them for fresh breath too. <sighs> Super fresh. <laughs> Super fresh. <laughs> they even have the original packet they used to have like years ago. Approved? For a cold? <laughs> Scottish Anticuchos. You're right, me bonnie lass. Okay, the haggis taste test. The haggis taste test. What? What is it? Haggis. I told you. Okay, here we go. It's the haggis taste test. The national dish of Scotland. Okay. Just eat the food. Heart, liver and lungs with some barley and oats and onion and spices. Oh, you like it. Yeah, you do. I knew it. I knew it. It's better than anti-cuchos. So we have the haggis. The neeps. Hey, that's a scum. And the tatties. Can I eat my food? With uh, chili sauce, apparently. <laughs> and gravy. Better than anti cuchos. Approved. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a ginger shot drink. You need a mouthful. Yeah, a big no, mouthful. Let's use one shot. Really nice. 
Yeah, do it. You just have a big mouthful. Hi, <laughs> 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 <Aye, aye>, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> Is it on fire? My throat is still on fire. Okay, what do you think of all the British food and snacks that you've tried in the last six months? <coughs> pues, um, <laughs> la mayoría de platos. The, the, the meals? Yeah. The meals, I mean, the, the one in, on the cavalry. Cavalry. It was great. The breast dinner, the carvery was numero uno, you think? Or the fish and yeah. chips? Oh, shit. Ah, the fish and chips. And the shepherd's pie. Ah. The shepherd's pie. Yeah. Oh, the potato. The potato. Potato. Yeah. Potato. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm, oh, yeah, it's hard. Okay, an overall summary. What do you think? Is it what you expected? Or no, not. of course not, because it's different, you know. Every culture is different. Every culture something, is different. Something I notice here, people like vegetables a lot. I mix with mashed potato. I mean, la gente le gusta mucho las verduras cocidas con puré de papas y papas. Puré de papas y papas, aparte. That's because we have free healthcare and we have a lot of propaganda yes, forcing okay, people to healthy, eat healthy with less salt. Yeah, but if it's healthy, how do you mix mashed potato with more potato? <coughs> I mean, it's carbs and carbs. That's, only, carbs. In carbs. That's <laughs> only in the carvery. That's only in the carvery. When you eat carvery, there's no rules. And then you, you have the fish and chips. Yes. So that's healthy because it's no. fish? No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's traditional. And with traditional things, the health goes out the window. Like the all-day breakfast. Yeah, the same with the drinks. I mean, every drink here is like healthy, has no sugar, yeah. but has something. Propaganda. Yes, <laughs> propaganda. Because every drink, No salt, no every, sugar, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the thing with the salt is okay, because I tried lots of things without salt, okay? I had to put my salt in things, in yeah. the cookies, food, everything. You go to McDonald's, you have to add salt to your own yeah. fries. Yeah, that's annoying, that's yeah. And then, if you want, uh, if you want to drink, they say no sugar. But then you try to drink, it's sweet, it's super sweet. Yeah, super sweet. too many sweetness. Yeah, but I don't know how you can say something like it's free of sugar, but then you have this Coke, these Propaganda. <laughs> no sugar. Yeah, but high in caffeine, so your heart but will stop, it's but no at sugar, least... Uh, but it has diabetes in yeah, here. Yeah. It's oh. super sweet, isn't it? Oh, it's sweetener. It's, it's funny. Yeah, so, so you're not going to get diabetes from this, but you may get cancer, your teeth will decay, and you might have a heart attack, but you, you're not going to eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> yeah, it's silly, isn't it? So the last thing I want to say is uh, the UK has a very bad reputation for food. You go to Italy, you want the pasta and the pizza. You go to Germany, you want the sausage. What people have to say about the UK is the food is crap apart from the fish and chips. Would you agree with that or would you disagree having been here six months? Well, I can't say all the food here is crap because People has lots of vegetables. I um, I love the vegetables, so for me it's good. Uh, a part of that, I think most of the food in here is 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 just food in a box. You know, it's like a fast food. You can find the food in in a in a, in a supermarket. In a market, it's already just you need to microwave the, the food and that's it. A lot of microwave food. So. Practically, the, 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 the UK has no traditional dishes except for the... Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Shepherd's and pie. Shepherd's pie. And a few old school things yeah. that you don't see too much anymore. So, I can't really be in agree with the food. If someone say the food here is crap because it's not. But I think they should do 
something better or something new, you know, because it's yeah. the same thing. So, if you visit the UK, <coughs> si visitas eh, Reino Unido, lo, lo que más vas a encontrar eh, es um, puré de papas con verduras vegetales cocidos, eh, unos panecillos. Esa es la comida tradicional de aquí con salchichas, eh, huevos fritos en el desayuno, salchichas, huevos fritos, papas fritas. Eso es en el desayuno, pero eso es lo tradicional. De pronto, si quieres algo más como Perú, como México, como otras cosas, tienes que ir a un restaurante de afuera, que son restaurantes de otros países que, que hacen comida de otros países. Y no es exactamente comida de otros países, es un mix. Entonces, sí. Um, I couldn't try lots of foods here because I was cooking every day. So yeah. I was cooking for real food, Mexican food. Yeah. We try some Indian food. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it was hard to try something new here. I have to to do my own dishes here. So that's true, yeah. I think that's the difference. Yeah, we have UK food, American food, Indian food. And then you kind of have to uh, sneak around to get something different. But there's a lot of fast food and that all comes down to lack of time, kind of laziness and uh, availability as, as well. And we create a lot of dishes here. Uh, We always cook at home, so yeah. And we it's... create lots of mix between UK and Peru, UK and Fusion <coughs> food. Fusion, a lot fusion food. Fusion food. Lots of fusion food. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed your British food and mostly snacks uh, in this video. Okay, thank you. take care. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this Italian dish now uh, with tuna.